Hey everyone, this is a review of Ryobi's brushless cordless 12 inch chainsaw. It runs on their 18 volt 1 plus battery platform. Uh, and it's model number P549 with a one battery kit, P548 bear tool. Ryobi sent this over for me to review, so we're going to take a closer look at it and then see it in action. Here's the tool up close. They made a few big changes over the older version. Uh, that was a 10 inch bar. This is now a 12 inch bar. And running it is a brushless motor, which gives you a lot more runtime out of one of these P108 batteries or another battery. Uh, and it just runs more efficiently, uh, and you can get a little bit more power out of them too uh, over a standard brushed motor. Of course, it costs a little bit more because you have electronics controlling it uh, rather than just having the brushes switching the current for you. Uh, it's pretty standard layout for a chainsaw. It is a right-handed tool. You are not supposed to use it left-handed for safety reasons because you're going to be reaching over the line of the bar, uh, and you don't want to be doing that when you're cutting uh, in case of kickback. So Ryobi bumped up to a 12-inch bar uh, over the older 10-inch bar for their 18-volt 1-plus chainsaw. Um, and so with that, you get about 10 and a quarter inches of actual cutting length uh, where you have exposed chain uh, and you don't have parts of the saw in the way. You've got the uh, uh, pawls right here for up against your log that you're cutting. Um, the distance from here to the end of the chain is 10 and a quarter inches. So anything bigger than that, you really won't be able to cut it in one pass. Um, I managed a... The, the diameter of the trunk was 8 inches in one direction and 10 inches in the other. I cut it in the 8 inch direction since that's the way I wanted the tree to fall. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. I didn't really have to cut from both sides except for there were some branches in the way. Uh, so I ended up switching sides uh, just for ease of access, not for power reasons. One other thing they changed over the older version, the battery used to sit out here. Now they pulled it in tighter to the center line. Uh, so it's, it's a well-balanced tool, it's not hanging way out on you, and you can get it in, uh, in a little bit tighter places than the old one because it doesn't have the giant battery sticking out. Uh, the trigger has a safety lockout back here, you just pull this thumb switch down and then pull the trigger. It's a nice two-handled or two-fingered trigger, uh, so it's got lots of surface area for you to grip on it. The handguard is nice and big, it lets you get hands uh, with gloves on in here without any problems. One really nice feature about this new saw that the old one didn't have, it's got an automatic oiler in it. So when you fill it up with bar oil, um, you don't have to push a button to oil your chain. Uh, it does it automatically, so you don't have to think about it. Uh, I would recommend filling this up with oil at least every time you change out batteries. Uh, I ran through this one, and it was about a third empty on oil. Um, so just every time you change out batteries, uh, fill up your oil as well, and you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, one note, this doesn't come with any bar oil. I don't think that's really a detraction, because if you're going to be using this, you're going to be going through some bar oil, um, and it's just a hassle to ship with it. Uh, but you will need to pick some up uh, when you're buying your saw, so you don't have to take a trip back to the store. The front handle uh, is pretty comfortably designed. It's pretty simple. Uh, it does have a handguard in the front. However, this handguard does not have a chain break on it. So if you get kicked back and your hand gets pushed into this uh, handguard, uh, it's not going to rotate forward and it's not going to stop the blade uh, like you'll see in powerful, more powerful gas saws, uh, ones with bigger bars, that kickback is going to be a lot more severe in. And I think that's why this one doesn't have that safety feature, is just because it's, it's got a 12-inch bar, it's got plenty of power to run this chain, um, but it doesn't have near the power of you know, bigger gas saws where kickback is going to be a severe event. As long as you're careful cutting, you shouldn't get kickback. Um, it's just something to keep in mind. You don't have that extra safety feature of a, a blade break. It has all of these safety warnings uh, that you're supposed to follow, and the manual has really good instructions uh, for how to safely operate a chainsaw if you're unfamiliar with that. On this side of the saw, you've got your bar axis as well as your chain tensioner. Uh, so it's toolless, which is really nice. You just loosen this, and you can turn your chain, chain tensioner back and forth like that. Uh, if you want to take the whole thing off, uh, you just got to... Spin this a whole bunch of times and unthread it. And this whole panel comes off uh, and you can replace the bar, replace the chain, uh, do whatever maintenance you need to do. As far as the rest of the saw goes, um, on the bottom here you have your vents for your motor. Uh, so they're pretty far away from where all the debris is going to be flying. Probably a pretty decent location for them, uh, but it is pretty sealed off on the front so you're not going to be getting a bunch of junk into your motor housing. And on the base back here, uh, you have a keyhole slot for hanging this on a screw on your shed wall or your garage wall. And when you're not using or transporting the saw, uh, Ryobi does include a blade cover that just slips right on. 
uh, and sits pretty flush right here uh, just for safety measures. This one performs very well. Uh, the only time I actually had it bogged down on me and bind up was when I was almost out of battery, so I was probably running a little bit low. Lithium ion curves uh, don't drop off as much as a, an older NICAD battery, but at the very end they do have a little tiny bit of drop off in power. And so that was the only time I had it bind up on me. Uh, I cut through an 8 inch diameter trunk without any problems. All right, so runtime. Uh, out of all that cutting I did, it was about a half hour of on and off, um, you know, moving branches, making cuts, moving branches, making cuts. Uh, one four amp hour battery lasted me that entire half hour. Uh, pretty much all the cutting I did with that tree was completely done, um, and I was just chunking up some larger pieces of the stump, and it finally ran out of juice. So you get pretty pretty decent runtime out of a P108 four amp hour battery. Uh, I would recommend having one or two extras on hand if you've got a bigger tree uh, or if you plan on doing a lot of cutting in one day, you don't want to be waiting on these to charge. I think this is an excellent solution for a homeowner, um, especially if you've already got uh, Ryobi OnePlus batteries. Um, it's a lot less hassle than trying to get a gas chainsaw to start after it's been sitting out in the shed for who knows how long, uh, especially if you don't use a chainsaw very much, if it's just, you know, windstorm blows a tree down. Uh, once or e once a year or something like that, uh, and you just got to get out and chunk it up. This is a great solution for that um, at, a, at a pretty low price point uh, for the capabilities of the saw. Okay, let's talk value. Uh, this is a brushless tool, which means it's usually going to be a little bit more expensive than the brush motor counterparts, but it has a bump up in performance. Uh, it's $200 for the one battery kit. That's a four amp hour battery, a charger, and a tool, uh, or it's $160 bare tool with no battery and charger, and I think it's worth getting as a kit, uh, especially since 40 bucks is a good deal for a P108 battery, uh, they're normally 100 for two, uh, and addition, additionally, if you're doing lots of cutting with this, you're going to want more than one 4 amp hour battery, so even if you already have one or two, uh, it might be good to get an extra one. Great saw, great power, uh, great performance, uh, fairly lightweight and uh, at a good price point. So hopefully this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.